Hello there guys and welcome to this X-Plane 11 video. Today we're going to be doing a full review of the recently released Embraer 110 by Dreamfoil. For the purpose of our review today, we are currently situated at Arlington Municipal Airport in the United States. The Dreamfoil Embraer 110 has always been one of my favorite aircraft for X-Plane. The upgrade to X-Plane 11 has taken a very long time, but based on what I've seen, let me tell you that the wait was definitely worthwhile. The aircraft is currently available for immediate sale at the X-Plane Org store for $29.95, which I think is a real bargain uh, for an aircraft of this quality and immersion. Existing owners will receive a coupon in their original X-Plane Org invoice and will only have to pay $19.95 for the new version. In the 3D modeling and texture work department, as you can see, Dreamfoil has um, remodeled this aircraft to take advantage of the latest available technologies in X-Plane 11, including PBR. The flight model of the aircraft has been also upgraded to take advantage of the available technologies in X-Plane 11. The final rendition of the aircraft is a very faithful, highly immersive and realistic replica of the actual Embraer 110. In addition to the highly immersive visual model, Dreamfall has made it possible to interact with some of the aircraft's exterior parts, including ground equipment, simply by clicking on the respective hotspots. As you can see here, we can toggle the cones, we can open and close the aircraft door, remove the engine covers, the chocks, the tail uh, support. Um, you also have access to, the, um, to those elements by clicking here at the aircraft nose and we have a lot more features inside the aircraft and we're going to take a look at those in just a minute. Just like the exterior, the interior of the Embraer 110 has been completely reworked to create a high quality rendition of the actual aircraft. As you can see, the 3D cockpit has been completely reworked and the final result is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the amount of detail and the amount of care exercised when creating this aircraft is simply commendable. Uh, if you look at the panel work, the details, amount of details, um, and, and the texture work uh, really adds up to uh, the overall immersion. Uh, again, instrument and gauge reflections here using um, X-Plane 11's PBR technology. Really brilliant work uh, in terms of the visuals on this aircraft. Now, this aircraft is also equipped with a hotspot here that will give you access to uh, changing your liv uh, liveries. So you can just simply move your mouse and select the livery that you want. I thought that this was a really cool feature. Uh, you have also access to all the exterior equipment, the quick views volume, which is dream sound volumes uh, that you can uh, uh, manipulate to your liking, uh, field of view, um, stability augmentation, you can also um, tweak that from within the uh, from within the menu here. Uh, you can customize uh, the um, uh, the aircraft uh, with failures if you want failures enabled and or if you want to toggle the antenna. Another nice thing in in this uh, quick menu here is a fully integrated checklist, which will help you go through pre-flight, start and taxi, takeoff and cruise, landing and emergencies. If you are interested in the history of the Embraer 110 and its operation, and there are four manuals available at your disposal in the aircraft documentation folder, uh, including normal and non-normal procedures, as well as a user guide, I do want to bring up the user guide and show you the special thanks note from the developer to his wife, a standing ovation to a fellow family man, uh, to Alfredo Fernando, uh, Dreamfoil Creations uh, for the patience uh, to take uh, his doubts and help him with the sounds. And by the way, the sounds on this aircraft are absolutely amazing. Oswaldo Nito, Brazilian Air Force, uh, for collaborating with your experience as a pilot so that this aircraft arrives as close to the actual aircraft. Now, this is significant, folks, uh, because the developer has actually consulted real world pilot to create this aircraft. So you can tell that there is a lot of work that has gone into making this aircraft as immersive and realistic as possible. And finally, Anderson Lucas um, for marketing support uh, with your talent and upgrades to the aircraft. 
So you can tell that there is a very capable team behind this aircraft. Uh, they spend considerable amount of time and uh, and probably money uh, to to create this uh, this beautiful aircraft. And I still want to stress out the fact that I feel that the price for this aircraft is uh, is it was a real bargain at twenty nine ninety five and nineteen ninety five for existing users of the version two uh, of the aircraft. The fun time has arrived where we're going to start the aircraft from a cold and dark state and take off here from Arlington Municipal, fly around the area to put the aircraft to the test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the checklist here pre-flight. Uh, everything looks good here, so we're going to just go and start with battery master switch. And we're going to use the uh, checklist or the exterior here and we're going to say remove all. Just listen to those sounds. Wow, really nice. Very, very immersive indeed. Okay, so uh, anti-collision light rotating. Uh, this one here, so we're gonna push it one up. And let's see here, navigation lights are on. Inverters one and two are on. Totalizer is set. Fuel pumps, we're gonna head down here. Auxiliary on on and observe and then it goes back to auto Main pump is on uh, We'll do the same thing here And back to auto fuel pump is on all is good hydraulic booster pump is on and this guy is located down here Radios are off we can go to start and taxi now starting the aircraft is actually pretty simple um, so let's go ahead and so start switch on start ignition indicator light on we're going to check for positive indication of oil pressure and fuel pressure and then fuel condition lever to low idle so we're going to start with the uh, right engine uh, let's go ahead here and say start as you can see now the the light is switched on and you can see that the uh, engine is spooling and we're going to put this on low idle and we can see now uh, positive indication for uh, the engine instruments and now we can do the same thing for the engine number one or the, uh, the left engine so we're going to go on start there we go light is uh, on positive indication here so we're gonna go ahead and put this on low idle okay move on to the next page engine uh, start is complete it says engine start it should be engine start um, battery master is on battery generator is on so let's go here and oh I think we need to turn off the inverters first and to turn on the generators so now the generators are on and inverters okay and let's see here radios on standby the all right so we need to turn this guy on and air conditioning as required now we're gonna head over to the air conditioning panel here and we're gonna put it on vent at the moment very immersive sounds indeed very nice okay so all is good nose wheel steering is on okay let's turn on our radios and this goes on standby this one is on standby uh, our transponder and everything looks good okay so we're pretty much now ready to taxi uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to release the parking brake, test the brakes, uh, flight instrument checked, uh, beta lights, uh, we're going to turn on the taxi light here, and what we're going to do is we're going to perform the test here, so that's done, and flight, in, flight controls are checked, okay, all looks good to me. And what we're going to do now is uh, windows air conditioning on vent, uh, inertial separation is off. Okay, inertial separation is off. 
Um, fuel consumption lever low idle, propeller levers minimum RPM. That's for the engine runner. Uh, we're going to turn on the um, auto feather now, and we are going to taxi to the runway. So parking brake is released, and let's head over to the runway. Okay, so we are ready for departure, so what I'm going to do is we're going to put this guy here on the map. And what else here we need to do? We need to turn on the landing lights on and strobes. Everything else looks good here. Alright. And then release the parking. Oh, flaps 20. Yeah. Alright, flaps 20 set for takeoff. Let's release the parking brake. Now, with the Embraer 110, uh, if you push the uh, throttle to maximum power, you will probably blow up your engine pretty quickly. I really like the sounds on this aircraft. I think they're pretty well made. Uh, steering of the aircraft is, again, uh, it's pretty lovely. All right, we are lined up with the runway now. Let's put the mixture on full rich.
way this aircraft responds to wind is uh, is really nice as well. Very well made in all departments, really. The Embraer 110 by Dreamfoil. All right, we're going to do a right turn now with just a little bit of rudder. Let's uh, take a quick look at the uh, autopilot operation here. So that's the autopilot here. Let me remove this here. That's the autopilot. Yellow damper on. Autopilot. Uh, altitude. And maybe heading as well. Absolutely brilliant aircraft in all departments. Uh, what we can do is I'm trying to find out where. Oh, there we go. And the lights. There we go. And we can perhaps change the uh, heading here. Let's go ahead and change the time to night time so you guys can see the uh, aircraft during night time. Again, very well made, nice lighting. Well, folks, my concluding remarks on the Embraer 110 is that it is a highly immersive aircraft, very well made, uh, both in terms of the uh, visuals and the way it handles the aircraft systems. Uh, the integrated checklist, the manuals, uh, everything really has been thought of very carefully uh, to create a very uh, high quality rendition uh, of the actual aircraft. It's an extremely fun to fly, especially if you like hand flying. This aircraft is a real challenge to fly. Um, I highly recommend it. It definitely has the Q8 pilot seal of approval and I give it uh, 9 points out of 10 and the golden plague. Folks, uh, if you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.